Hello. Uh, it has been an amazing week and I'm full. I'm actually been sitting and doing a lot of writing and just brain dumping and listening to a lot of people that inspire me and translating that into hopefully Pilates business information for you. So first of all, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Thank you for visiting my channels. And also thank you to the tons of you who have been sending in your questions this week and um, your also your successes. And I love that. Like you don't just have to send questions. You can also send awesome things that you want to celebrate, right? Because sometimes you just want to tell someone something rocked. And sometimes you want to tell someone something sucked or you have questions about whether it rocked or sucked. So that's what profit applies can be for you. And that's what I can be. Everything's confidential. So thank you. Um, let's talk about the question I'm asking. Do you have to do business as usual? Uh, no, don't. <laughs> Please don't. Um, it's very interesting um, the way that Pilates studios and businesses are run. Um, and every studio should really think about the behaviors of the area that they're in and the dreams they have for their business. First and foremost, um, my studio that I practice at, not that I teach at, they really wanted to run their studio uh, like Joseph Pilates did. So the classes are, you come and teach yourself. Um, and they couldn't do it exactly the way that Joseph Pilates did because they want to make sure that they have enough people, enough space for everyone. You can't just show up, but at the same time, like they held true to their belief and their goal for teaching Pilates. You might be totally different. You might be like, I want a packed class. I want a class every hour. I want to be super full. And you know what? You should do that. You should totally, if that is your goal, you should make that a priority. Now, just because you open the doors and you put that schedule out doesn't mean that those classes are full. Just like for them, just because they want it to look like Joseph Pilates' old studio doesn't mean it's gonna work for, like when the doors open, it's gonna work. It takes time to build up to your goals. Just like it takes time to build up to a Pilates exercise, right? You're not gonna be able to just do the overhead. Maybe you never will. I have a client who's 77, she's been with me for 10 years probably never doing the overhead, right? From so many reasons. But that doesn't mean we don't get her ready as close as we can to maybe someday doing it. So if you have a dream of filling up all of the classes on your schedule because you wanna have full classes, then your business, your usual business, will reflect that. So don't go after all these privates if you wanna have full classes and just do classes. Vice versa, if you really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one work of teaching privates, I wouldn't open up your schedule for more classes, right? Like, yes, you might feel that there's a demand for that. You might be getting a demand for that. And you might be feeling your pocketbooks like thirsting for that money. Um, but I would say your usual business has to be in line with your goals. And so if you prefer to teach privates, you should teach privates. So the general studio mold that's out there and the general, I guess, mold of become a teacher, open a studio, fill all the classes, um, that, that might be a mold that fits you. And if it does and you're making your dreams happen, that is amazing. But if you're sitting here and you're like, I don't own a studio, or I don't want to own a studio, I actually want to travel and teach, take a look at this week's blog, or I want to teach clients outside of a physical therapy, I want to do this, I want to teach one to chair reformer classes, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what's going to work or not work. What I will say won't work is if you are trying to fit your goals into the general mold of the way Pilates businesses are run, which is people using the same exact scheduling system just because that's the one that's marketed to them. If that doesn't work for your business financially or logistically, don't do it. There's so many other things out there. Like the way tech is these days, there's a ton of options, right? If um, you, you would prefer to just teach group classes only, then that's what your website needs to talk about is why group classes are great for Pilates teachers or students, why Pilates classes with you are gonna help them hit their goals. And you need to say no to the clients who can't be in classes. 
Because if you start saying yes to those people, they're either not going to be safe or get the benefit supplies in class, or you're going to have to teach them a private, and you're not going to feel good about it. So is my way, or my way, the way I'm suggesting you do it um, tougher? Yeah. It's trudging your own path. And it takes so much time, but it allows you to make turns and changes because you're doing what feels right to you. If you are trying to fit what you want within what the mold is or what you think people are doing or what you think you should be doing and you're trying to be like everybody else, you won't make it. You won't be happy. You won't be inspired. And then you, if you're not inspired, your sessions aren't inspired and then your clients won't be inspired and it just sounds really sucky. It sounds really sucky. So, <laughs> um, do you have to do business as usual? Dear Lord, please don't. Do your business the way that you want. And if you want help figuring out how do you get from point A to point D, C, all that went backwards, D and Z, um, then let's talk. Send me your goals and we'll break it down and we'll make a path that works for you and we'll teach you how to say no to the things that are not in line with them. And yes, like Y-A-A-S-S-S, exclamation, exclamation, to the things that do would line up with your goals. I say no to a lot of people, often. I send them to other teachers all the time. Why? They're not the ideal client that I can teach. Of course I could teach them. I probably could teach them really well, but you know what? They'll be better off with someone else sometimes. And that's because I really want to teach the way I want it. I want my business to be my business. And so I have to say no to some things so that I can say yes to so many others like you. So enjoy your awesome day. Thank you for watching this again. Thank you again for your questions and your comments and your woot woots and your celebrations and even your struggles because the Pilates world is an awesome place to be. It's not perfect. But we can do a lot of things together. And that's that's why Profitable Pilates and I'm here. So anyways, have an awesome day. And thank you again for watching. I will see you soon, hopefully next week at a webinar.